My husband has me in a wife's only restaurant. Say hi to the people, babe. <laughs> no, it's this restaurant. But you ain't never been here neither, huh? Nah, this my first We're trying this restaurant for the first time. It's that right now we are serving brunch, so we eat brunch. Yeah, they set us in the back. We the only black folks in the restaurant and we in the back. But the ambiance is good and the view is good. Let me show y'all the view. Okay, guys. Look at this. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. And they do have fans out here. So yeah, they do have fans and stuff out here. To keep you cool. It's just nice. It's a vibe. It's a really pretty out here. Let's see. Look at that. And they put fresh flowers out on each of the tables. Babe, come here. Look, they put they put fans out here. I seen that. Ooh. That might not be your juice. Okay, y'all, so they brought this out. Man, what you think of, what you eat? That's called biscuit. That's a biscuit? Yeah, that's called biscuit. You like it? Yeah, yeah. A little raspberry jam. Okay. It's fresh. I ain't tried the butter, though. Well, I'm gonna try it, y'all. I just want to show it to you real quick. You gonna take it? He saved, y'all. <laughs> Cause I got ready to dig into this. It is good. And what is that, babe? Bison capaccio. Oh, this is good. Taste it, babe, because I want to get your live reaction. You're going to like it. I ain't going to get your lump. No, there's crab, lump crab everywhere. They got that on that. That might be the better. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we got. I'm a bison fan. I know it's a little weird place, but I like stuff like this. Oh, look at that thing. I'm called it. Oh yeah, this is my kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna set this up. I'm sorry. We'll be back after the food done so we can give you a writing on whether you should come here or not. This is our tab. Oh, did you tell them about the tool? So, here's down. You're wondering where I went. We just gave you a hint because if you look at the receipt, you'll see where it is. Um, you got an insight of what the food looked like. The food looked just as good as it tasted, so that was good. Um, definitely we'll be coming back there. This is another spot and it will be our spot. That we liked at that Leland place. That was good. No, the Leland place was the bomb, just like this one. Mm-hmm. So, you know. <laughs> I'm on the I'm winning shit. You are. I'm on the winning shit. I got a couple more too, so y'all stay tuned. We have been going to places and trying to figure out what's good, what's not good, and this is a good spot. The ambiance is good, the environment, everything everything is just bomb. The two dollar mimosas, bro. That's not let me talk about the two dollar mimosas. Okay. So yeah. I am completely satisfied. I am full. I'm gonna go take a nap. When I get home, yeah. <laughs> and that is what our day is gonna consist of. I don't know what we gonna feed these kids um, because on the cool, I really just feel like they can they can figure it out. Today is a figure it out. Um, I don't know. So we'll see. I don't want to do no heavy cooking. I know that heavy cooking is not on the menu. I don't want to go spend no money neither but we just spent a hundred dollars so that's not the question so it'll probably be something short sweet and quick we might just make them lasagna and eat soup tonight so we're gonna have to cook but i don't feel like cooking no meal meal 
and I don't, um, we're not going to buy nothing in. Oh, this wig is from Unicef. It's cute. It's giving whatever it's giving or it's, whatever. It's trying anyway. Oh, I do it's have cute. a, I do have a hair review for y'all coming real soon. Actually, two. Because one of them was free. Like, I got a free wig. It's giving head in your vibes. I mean, but put on that girl. No, I can't take you nowhere. You don't do right. Alright, so okay. We're just waiting for them to come get our ticket so we can go. But ten out of ten. Definitely recommend this place. If you're in the Houston area, come check it out. Um they say that they don't do a lot of promoting and stuff like that. I don't know why because their food is amazing. The the customer service is amazing. Everything was on point and amazing. Definitely come check them out. See what they're about. You'll like it. If you do come, tell me how you liked it. See y'all when we get home. Bye. Okay, y'all. All together. First of all, the food was amazing. I give it a 10 out of 10. From the crab dip. dip. Shut up. <laughs> I, tried, I, tried. I didn't even know crab man was. Thank you. <laughs> That's your crazy. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. Is it big? Shut up. From the crab probably dip. For crab. To, <laughs> for crab. To the it's fresh probably toast. Even. The eggs. Um, even what he had. What was that that you had? Braised bison. Braised bison short ribs eggs. From the blueberry muffins to the cheddar biscuits that they brought. Everything was amazing. The mimosas were good. Everything was good. And this. Yeah, let's talk about the fact that I scheduled a nail appointment at the wrong location. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about, I hope these people take walk-ins. Because oh, I need my nails and my feet done. Can we talk about the fact that chicken filet cooked the hell out these chicken strips? They hot. They burning my soul. Can we talk about the fact that they wouldn't let me mix my drinks? I had to buy two different drinks in order to get a mixed drink. I thought it was y'all pleasure. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she told me. <laughs> I feel lied to. But that's neither here nor there. So now we're waiting for this place to open because it's supposed to open at 9. I'm finna turn this car back on because it's hot outside. Yeah, I'm feeling good, baby. That's skin. skinny. So I'm gonna turn this air back on and I'm oh, gonna sit here and wait for these people to open up so I can see if they gonna do my feet and my nails. Bro, that's my favorite Wendy's, bro. I kiss everybody in there. What? I love that Wendy's. That Wendy's over there? Just put up I love anytime. that Wendy's. Bro, the way they be cooking that food over there? They be cooking that food good. I always get hot food and them cookies be cooking. Like, I just love them so much. I don't know. Girl, you said that like that was one of your kids. I just I, that Wendy's them. be so good. Like, I'm just thinking about my, my, my peat. What is it? What is that? Pineapple, mango, lemonade, and my spicy chicken sandwich. Don't nut. Y'all need to bring y'all garlic fries back because then nothing beat y'all garlic fries. I never say those. So y'all garlic know. fries was lit. It's here. Y'all garlic and y'all mango pineapple lemonade. I make somebody go to jail. Oh, I be getting my, my loaded fries. I go to jail for y'all. Loaded fries be good. Okay, y'all. I'm going to eat my food and wait on these people and see if they going to take me or not. I need a trim. I need to clip my ends. I thought I couldn't say. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm not happy. Okay? I'm not happy because I should literally, and I'm not even exaggerating. I didn't stop and get the tripod. That's why I didn't finish vlogging. I'm not happy because I literally showed this lady exactly how I wanted my nails. Showed her exactly how I wanted it. This was a no-brainer. This is what I got. And you're probably like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. First of all, I did not ask for an almond shape. <laughs> I asked for, I'm going to put it right here. I asked for this. I got this ugly almond shape. It's barely an almond shape. The only reason, and to be honest, the only reason it's an almond shape is because I went back in and reshaped the nail. Had I not went back in and reshaped my own nails, I don't know what this would look like. I just say, I knew something was wrong. 
I, she said either your social thermometer was down or you didn't like your nails. She said, because you talk and you got quiet and you wasn't saying nothing. I wasn't saying nothing, y'all, because I was irritated. I was beyond irritated. And you're probably like, why you just didn't have her redo your nails? Because if you can't do them right the first time, you're not going to be able to do them right the second time. And I didn't like my feet neither. So it was more so of let me get because they didn't do like my other girl do and that's the see when you try to switch up thinking you finna get something better because it's closer to the house that's where you be messing up it because she did not do my feet like my girl be doing my feet so i text my husband i say you know what listen learn i'm gonna take this l because this l is my lesson but next month <sighs> baby i'm going back to my old nail tech I don't care how far she is. I would never disrespect her again and go somewhere I don't know nothing about. She will not get disrespected anymore. I'm, she can go. She can go to Dallas and I'm going to follow her. Because <laughs> cause this right here. This has me heaping, hopping, mad. I swear to God. I, I'm tired. I want to take a nap. But... <sighs> I know if I lay down, my hair gonna mess up. And, you know, even though he seen me this morning, he don't want me. I don't want to go to, I don't want to go to his job picking him up in a bunny or in a head wrap and some, and some basketball shorts and a tank top. I just don't want to do that. So, I'm going to be uncomfortable for a little while longer for him. And as soon as we walk through this door, baby, I'm getting up out of this. I'm going I'm to ask him, did he see it? Did he enjoy it? Is he good? And then I'm going to take this stuff the hell off. And I'm going to go take me a nap. I was going to cook. Well, it's not really nothing in here to cook. It's really not. I mean, we making ribs tomorrow. We making ribs tomorrow. I don't know what we gonna eat tonight. I might just fry some fish this evening. I don't know. I just know that I don't want to cook nothing heavy. If I could talk to him, talk him into going to have a drink with me, that'd be good too. Cause I love when he go have drinks with me. So if I could talk him into that, that's even better. So we shall see. But know my husband, him getting off of work, he not going to want to do nothing but go come home and chill. He not going to want to go have drinks nowhere. So I might end up just frying that fish for him tonight just to make sure we got something to eat. Um, yeah, I got some fish, shrimp, and fries in there. I could do that tonight because he going to barbecue tomorrow. So, yes, that is what this day is consisting of. Um, I'm gonna watch TV and try really hard to stay up so I can still so I can stay looking good for my husband. Cause y'all know what we we get too comfortable and too okay with how we is and that's not what's up. Like you should never just be completely okay with not doing not keeping yourself up or you should be you should never get so comfortable with your spouse where you don't want to that you feel like you don't have to um look the same or do the same things you did when you got married before you got married like i still love getting dressed up and dolled up for him because i love the way he look at me when i'm dressed up and dolled up don't get me wrong he look at me like that when i'm not but like this morning when i came in here because to um tell him with the good morning because i went to my beauty room because he was getting himself together in the bathroom and when i came back in here and i was put together and i came to you know because that's our thing in the morning we give each other a kiss and a hug and, and we we just you know just do our thing in the morning just love on each other in the morning and when i did that and i walked in this room and he said you look really nice this morning that made my day. Like, I don't care what nobody else say. Well, my me and my me and my man tell me I look good. That take my confidence to a whole another level. So, yeah. 
like I know I look good, but when your man tell you you look good, you know you holding something real quick. <laughs> so yeah. Uh let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really like pissed about these nails. And I had to make these nails do what they do because that was my hard earned money. And that's my lesson. And I'm not going I'm not gonna go get my nails fixed. I had to come home, fix my nails myself, and take that L and say, okay, we're gonna try this again next month. Point blank period. So yeah, I'm gonna chill out, watch this TV for a little bit, watch some HGTV, get some home decorating ideas. If y'all see my office, then y'all know that I've been getting a lot of ideas. But get some home decorating ideas and see what I what I'm gonna do to my downstairs area. So I'll see you guys in in a few. I'll probably leave early just so I can't get a tripod. I don't know. We'll see. Talk to y'all.